Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen on a nasty, nasty day, rainy day. Uh, for Tip Tuesday, uh, as I explained last week, there will be no Tool Tuesdays for a while. Um, so expect a couple months of Tip Tuesdays. And I've got a good one for you this week. If you've got an Instant Pot, and then again, if you don't, an Instant Pot and an Air Fry, not or, and an air fryer. Um, I have two great ways of preventing the bread or anything like a tortilla, flatbread, things like that from flying around in your air fryer. All right, if you're making any kind of a grilled cheese sandwich, quesadillas, things like that, and otherwise the uh, bread goes flying around, especially in the basket type. I found it doesn't help, it doesn't happen as much in the oven type like this okay or as somebody i know says a toaster oven version um but anyway so here we go we got a tip i think it's pretty genius i have to say um yeah. um now everybody's heard about possibly especially if you have an air fryer that you should use toothpicks okay um, but I have a great use for a double duty tip for using these trivets that come with the Instant Pot. Um, especially this kind that has higher feet. Okay, I think it comes with the 8 quart. Um, it doesn't, ha it doesn't work as well with these flatter types. Mm -hmm. All right. Not, it works with this, but it really, really works very well with this type that has the higher arms, the um, wide bottoms, of the, you know, like an inch where the uh, arms are, um, it's about an inch off the trivet. See, this one is flat with the trivet, okay? Um, it does work with this, it just doesn't close all the way, okay? So, if you want to make a grilled cheese sandwich, most of the time they tell you to take toothpicks okay I find two two does just fine okay I do it sometimes with this all right and then you put it in and you put it on your all right and you put it on all right about three or four minutes in flip it and cook it the other way all right now that you could do it that way and it's fine okay but if you happen to have an instant pot, okay, especially the eight quart, you have this handy dandy trivet that has the wide arms, okay, just put your sandwich in the middle, okay, no toothpick, no toothpick picks, no toothpicks necessary, just close one arm down, close the other down, okay, and put, I like to put it on either a parchment circle or I made this handy dandy um, yeah, I made these circles for my other one a while back a couple of years back okay all right now you take your air fryer okay all right and then I like when you're using this you can't put it all the way up I like to put it on the second row of, uh, all right, you have one, two, three, four, you have five rows of these little things on the side that hold the tray, okay? I like putting it on either the third or the fourth one, or the second one from the bottom or the third one, okay? And that, this fits all the way up on top. Now, remember that this metal piece is going to be hot. So please use a, um, uh, please use a, um, all right, mitt or glove or something, okay, when you take it out. All right, so with mine, I got to press this little circle thing, all right, and I like to put sandwiches on 350, okay, and then I put it on... 10 minutes usually all right in about five minutes 
I usually flip it. With this, I don't have to flip it. All I have to do is flip the actual thing together. All right? I don't have to flip the sandwich unless it's not greased on the other side. Okay, so I'll come back in five minutes. I'll flip it over. I'll show you how I flip it over. And then five minutes later, <laughs> we'll have a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay? All right. So it's been five minutes. As you can see, it says five minutes. I'm going to take two gloves, all right, flip it over, all right, and then I'm going to spray it right through the thing. It doesn't matter that it gets on the, uh, on the, the uh, metal, okay? I'll put this back in. Okay, five more minutes. We'll have grilled cheese. Okay, let's see how, see how A, how it looks, and B, how uh, this, uh, obviously remember, this is hot. All right, so not only do you have to use mitts for that, but you have to use it for this too. Now, I would, of course, flip this over again. Be careful. It's hot. Flip it over. All right, open it up. All right, so the cheese gets stuck. That's expected. But if it's hot, it just comes right out. Right? Yep, see, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Then, take it right out. Okay? And it's not, well, obviously it's not, I would should have given it another minute or so. It would have browned up more golden. Okay. But, is the cheese melted? <laughs> yep. Cheese is gooey. You can see it in that little hole, that opening there. It's nice and gooey. Alright? And just have to clean one thing, especially since I put the, um, since I put this uh, silicone underneath and it'll peel right off the silicone. See, it comes right off the silicone. So just be real careful, okay? Obviously when cooking with an air fryer, you have to keep it away from the walls and, and it has like a thing over here where the steam comes out so it's not so good to keep it underneath something this is why you usually see I have it over here um, but anyway so there it is okay did my trivet trick work yes it did and it keeps it all in one place and it didn't go flying all over the place I forgot to show you with the butt with the little light <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't go it just contains it all in one spot this thing all right it contains it all in one spot all right, and so my tip for Tip Tuesday, it works, okay? If you've got one of those trivets, well, if you have one of these other ones that don't have the tall amount here, it just closes to about there, all right? But it should still work, okay? Now, of course, this is not this kind. You can't use like this in the basket, all right? It's better for one of these kinds. But this kind, you've got the taller one, works. You just have to hold it and flip it, and it will work. All right, so that way you don't have to go out and buy a box of toothpicks if you don't have them in the house all the time, like I normally do. And by the way, do not buy them in a supermarket. They want way too much money. I bought this, 500 of them, buck, at Dollar Tree. The overhead on these is ridiculous at supermarkets and probably at Walmart too. They probably want two or three dollars for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Anyway, so if you don't have an instant pot, then toothpicks is the way to go. Just be careful. Flip it over. Take the toothpick out from one side. Put it back in the other side, and your bread won't go flying all over the place. Okay. And if you do have one of these. It's a great double to the tip. Okay? And thanks for coming in for Tip Tuesday once again. And we'll have another genius tip, genius hack, next Tuesday as usual. And, of course, like the video and subscribe and press that little bell so you get notifications of all my videos. And come again soon to, of course, Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. Bye.